Hey people, Nick here, aka Flybooker of YouTube. Um, my most recent stuff has been uh, clips that I've reversed, like jumps, flips, random stuff like that. Um, I'm going to show you how I did that, all I did. I only used Windows Movie Maker, nothing else. Um, a lot of people have downloaded programs that help them do this, but I figured out how to do it by myself on Movie Maker alone. So here I have my single clip of, maybe, if it'll load. No, wait, no, Movie Maker Pros, that's just good. Um, I have the clip alone of me doing a flip onto my couch, just like that. And to reverse it, all I did was I put the dragger thingy, I don't know what it's called, where I landed the flip, and then I hit take a picture, you save the picture, and then you go down here, and there should be a little button that says previous frame. You click that, and then you take another picture. You continue doing that, and the easiest way to do it is to press alt, left arrow, take a picture, and then enter. Alt, left arrow, take a picture, enter. Obviously this is a pretty time-consuming process, but um, in the end it looks pretty good. So I have all my pictures already taken in a separate area. And then what you do when you're done, you see I, that I have 48 pictures from that jump alone. Um, so basically this is kind of like creating a stop motion picture, but you're not. But in a way it is because you have to import all the pictures by themselves. So then you go to where you can easily see all the pictures. I hit show timeline and then you go to video effects and from there you go to the speed up double effect and you put eight of them onto your first picture. That's the easiest way to do it because that makes it as short as it can possibly go. That will make your picture now 0 .08 seconds long. That's exactly how long you want it. So you copy those effects and then you delete the effects. Copy them and then delete them. Then you click edit select all so that all your pictures are now selected on the timeline and then you click on the first one and you click paste so now all of your pictures are 0.08 seconds long and that video clip just went from being uh, three minutes to or yeah all the pictures on the timeline together made three minutes of film and that's obviously way too much and they went from being three minutes to almost four seconds by putting all of them and then when you're done you have your backwards flip from the couch onto the floor or whatever you want. Um, that one is in the one that I just did, actually today. Uh, just re clips in reverse part one. Um, it's pretty easy to do once you get the hang of it. It just can be time consuming. I know that in this one, the one where I am spitting up the Pepsi, that took almost 250 pictures. So it is a very time-consuming process, but definitely worth it if you're into movie editing like I am. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the basic tutorial that I got off of it. Um, hope it helped. So keep looking at my page for stuff to come. See ya.